Um, but when I told the teacher I was um, helping out about mm. being an actor, she told me no and continue with Japanese. So it's like that complete opposite. So how how exactly it start? How you learn uh, speaking Japanese and writing Japanese? How how did you do that? Because I am really amazed and but. Uh, uh, in some ways, I, I'm really, really happy that God has given you something that, that is extraordinary. So how, how that it start? I stopped translating words, and I started translating feelings and emotions, what they think, because then that opens me to think, like how would how would they say it, uh-huh. but without being misinterpreted. Yeah, and then did did you like kind of Google it to learn it? Or? I use my tools the, because. Like the self-study learner, uh-huh. when they're on their own, they they have tools. They're a detective. Uh-huh. They don't study words, but they translate thoughts, emotion, and feeling. And mm-hmm. to do that, they really have to get off the page of the book, and they yeah. have to really think about the context and meaning of each word. Uh-huh. So then, they, and then they have their tools. Yeah. And of course, they also talk to actual natives, and they they have a really good discussion about. Like, how would I be able to do it? How the many ways I can do it, as opposed to just one simple translation from a book. Because a language is a language, and people don't speak grammatically correctly. So when they converse, they don't speak grammatically correctly. In how how about yours? Is it in grammatically correct or I, how, how if, I, if I give a speech uh-huh. because I prepare in, in a Japan, speech in Japanese in Japanese if I prepare a speech uh-huh. that means I have time to think about what I want to say uh-huh. before I put it into words okay. and uh, then then I can speak grammatically correctly but Japanese people or like say in any other language when we just talk like this yeah if our words were just written on paper it is not grammatically correct but it's still conversational it's still applied that they can understand you yeah. exactly what you guys are talking about i listen to a lot of radio uh-huh. i've um, taken anything i've taken everything and i've really applied to how i can really use it okay so so so, so but the first time did you had a desire to really learn japanese language or or i took it like i mean i took it kind of like a because i like watching uh-huh. a lot of anime uh-huh. and but and stuff and i wasn't too serious about it but um it was the idea that when i started translating feelings and emotions yeah um that was what really set me on the path okay. to yeah because then because then I was really connecting with all the natives. And right here in uh, Maracosta, you are teaching Japanese kids born in here America, in America yeah. and I make to it, learn Japanese yeah, language. A lot easier for them. And also you you teach uh, kids, uh, is that Japanese and needs to learn English? Is that the way how? I haven't how? done that. Um, it's, more, it's a focus on teaching those who want to learn Japanese. Okay. But I also have a good discussion with any Japanese students about mm-hmm. words that have gotten my interest. Yeah. Because, like, like the, the word can mean, like, um, like a word can sound the same, but it has different mm-hmm. kanji or whatnot. It's the context and the intent. Yeah. When you translate intent, then you can really actually use that. Because people have, what they say yeah. um, has an intent. It's like what they really mean. Yes, exactly. Can, yes. And sometimes what they say can be different from what they mean. Yeah. So you focus on that, and then you really communicate. You can really actually understand what's going on. Okay. But these Japanese kids that are born here, they are, uh, you are helping them to learn English to Japanese. Is that the way how it works? Or uh, your uh, tutorial not, thing well, here Japanese, in Maracosta? No, no. It's um, it's a lot of American people who were born here and want to learn Japanese. And that those are one of those kids you guys are helping there in yeah, school? Those are mainly, or? those are the people I help. Oh, okay. I had a lot of people come in during my shifts just to see me. And, well, like, I don't know, um, because um, all the other uh, Spanish coaches who are always there, uh-huh. they see that I'm very popular and I divide my attention. But I also um, have a note. I have a notepad, uh-huh. and I always bring it out every time uh, I'm there to work. And I actually write out lesson material for them to take home. Oh, okay. And I have ideas on how they can continue and make practice exercises at home. Like if they're gonna practice doing conversation for mm-hmm. an oral exam, yes, they record themselves asking questions, uh-huh. and then they 
just put in a playlist and put it on shuffle and and then they could just pause they could just like have these random questions asked they pause and then like they answer yeah. then they continue and it's on yeah. shuffle yeah. like yeah other exercises of how to learn oh, and okay. it, it's just being able to apply it application yeah. is the biggest like thing that you need so it matters to you okay great so i'm i'm so happy with that son so uh yeah uh your cousin ayan is really excited to at least have a communication with you mm-hmm. and you know because they are proud that they have a cousin that was born here in america and living in america you know it's something that any kids back in the philippines are really be proud of so do you, do you really want to i think establish communication with you in some ways you know and one of these days you can meet him also somewhere we don't know maybe in japan mm-hmm. <laughs> you know you can, you can visit and see him i think he's in tokyo oh, so, okay that's expensive so it's, yeah. it's really expensive it is yeah but but anyway yeah and the gift that god has for you is amazing and just again as you are just my only son then do what is best and you know entrust whatever your heart's desires in, in God's hands because uh, he's the only one that can make us able to do all these things give your best 100% and yeah when you're going somewhere then just give yourself some enough time to you know police traffic and everything So okay, so I have to go. Thank you, thank you so much again for the time that we see each other and you take care of yourself, huh? Okay, I love you. Okay. Okay. Okay.